What's up, y'all? Today, we're going to dive into the best ways to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator in 2024 and beyond. SalesNav is an incredibly powerful tool that a lot of sellers use, but they may not be using it effectively. So today, I'm going to show you some of the ways that I leverage LinkedIn Sales Navigator in my own role as an account executive. For some context, my name is Justin Solis. I'm an enterprise AE. I've been in the industry for about nine years. Last year, I sold over a million dollars in new software. And this year, I'm carrying a $1.4 million quota. And a lot of my pipeline is generated through the searches that I do in LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So let's get into it. Now, a lot of sellers that I see who are prospecting and looking for specific individuals within an account will leverage the function and also seniority features. So let's say they're looking for a VP of sales, they'll type in sales as the function and then they'll select vice president as the seniority level. The problem with doing searches this way is oftentimes LinkedIn doesn't properly bunch people in into the correct function. So some folks will fall through the cracks. And if you're looking for more obscure titles, like for example, heads of DEI or diversity, equity, and inclusion, those folks are not going to be bunched in with the HR function like they should be. And so they will not populate when you're searching for them. So a way that you can solve this problem is by leveraging Boolean searches. I often use Boolean searches, which is simply a string of words in the job current job title search. By using Boolean, anyone who has a title with that name in it is going to populate. So even if they're more obscure, even if they're not properly bunched into their function, it's still going to come up. Now, it can be a huge pain in the butt when you want to actually take these different Boolean searches and having to copy and paste them. What I used to do was I'd have a doc with all the different Boolean searches, and then I would go to that doc, copy it, paste it over into the search, and it was pretty time consuming. So something that I do today is I leverage Magical to use their templates to save all my Boolean searches. So you'll see here, here's two different Boolean searches that I've saved in Magical. I've created a shortcut here for them. And so now when I want to do my search in Sales Nav, I can go to the current job title section, I'll type in my shortcut, and now it's going to automatically populate with all the titles that I want to search for. And then I can run that search and anyone who has one of those words within their title is going to populate here. No one's going to slip through the cracks and even those obscure ones are going to populate. Sales Navigator has a ton of different ways that you can filter down prospects within an account. One of the things that I like to use really frequently is looking at people who have recently changed jobs. So if you scroll down to the recent update section here in the search, you can flip this switch for change jobs and LinkedIn Sales Navigator is going to automatically pull up anyone who has changed jobs recently. So this is going to include folks who have recently joined the company as well as folks who have recently been promoted into new roles. The reason why this is advantageous is anyone who's recently been promoted now has more seniority. They're going to have more influence and in some cases, even more decision making power, which makes them low hanging fruit. They're also going to be motivated to try to make an impact in their new role, which would make them more open to having a conversation around procuring software. Anyone who's recently joined the company likely hasn't seen your copy yet. So if you're refreshing an account and you've already sent this same sequences to these folks before, try focusing on the people who have recently joined the org. My recommendation is to always try to wait six to eight weeks after they join so that they can get their bearings. And so you can ensure that they actually have the ability to have some influence and aren't still onboarding. Another great filter that you can leverage in Sales Navigator search is using posted on LinkedIn. So by flipping the switch in the recent update section to post it on LinkedIn, it's going to pull up any prospects who have recently made some posts. You can use the content of these posts to personalize your outbound messaging. So now I've got the folks with the right title. I've got some folks who have recently posted. Let's check out Nadia over here. For example, I can go to her page and I can look at her recent posts. And now I can look at whatever she's posted and try to gain, glean some information that I can then leverage in my outbound prospecting. So anytime someone talks about a personal anecdote, you can mention that in the first line. If anybody talks about any goals that they have or a new software that they've checked out, any information like that can be leveraged in that first line of your outbound that's gonna let you know why you're reaching out to them. This level of personalization helps a ton with not only increasing your response rates, but if you include it early on in the email so that it shows up in the preview that they'll see either on their computer or on their mobile device, this is also gonna help to increase your open rates as well. Now, when you're using LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you're likely going to be conducting many different types of searches. My recommendation is to always save your search. All you have to do is come up to the top here, flip this switch, and now that search is saved. The advantage here is not only are you able to quickly come back to searches that you've done in the past, but when you save your search, LinkedIn is going to update you on any changes that have occurred within those accounts that exist in the search. So if there are new stakeholders, if there have been any changes, fundraising, for example, LinkedIn is going to automatically notify you about those because they're inside the save search. So saving your searches makes them easier to access, but also gives you a ton of really great insights about those accounts that you've had in that search that you can then leverage 
for determining where you should be spending your time to get the most ROI with your outreach or what sort of details have changed about the account that you can leverage when you're prospecting. Let's say you're trying to figure out which accounts you should be focusing on. Another really great feature of LinkedIn that you can be leveraging is insights. If I go to a company's page and click the insights tab, I can now see a lot of really great information that's gonna let me know about the health of the account or where I should be tiering them, right? So your A tier accounts are accounts that are gonna have the highest propensity for actually buying. And some of those indicators can be found here in Insights. For example, looking at their employee headcount and seeing their growth. Companies that are growing up and to the right are likely doing well, making money, making new hires, therefore making them more likely to be willing to have a conversation around procuring software. You can also look at the distribution of these hires as well. If you're selling to engineers, for example, and you notice that the engineering department is currently in decline, that can likely be an indicator of them not having a ton of funding behind them, a ton of available money for them to be able to spend, which might tell you, hey, I don't wanna spend as much time on this account right now because it's not looking too hot. I'm gonna tier it a little bit lower and focus my attention on other accounts that are gonna have better heuristics that I'm gathering within the insights section. So leveraging LinkedIn insights is huge. You can also leverage this jobs tab as well. When you come into LinkedIn and look at the jobs, not only can you see if they're hiring for roles that you would normally sell into, which would be really great because then you know that they have a problem they're looking to solve that your software could potentially help with. You can also click into the job description and you can glean things like what software they're using internally to understand if it's something that you integrate with, et cetera, et cetera. So insights and jobs are also really great ways that you can leverage LinkedIn to get information about those accounts that can dictate how you want to do your outreach. So just to recap, Always use Boolean searches as opposed to just searching for function and seniority. This is gonna ensure that no one slips through the cracks. It's also gonna ensure that if you're searching for folks with more obscure titles, that you're gonna make sure that those populate so that you can add them to your prospecting list. Always use the change job feature. The change job feature is gonna let you know where the lowest hanging fruit prospects exist. Folks that have recently been promoted who are gonna have more influence, more seniority, more decision-making power, also likely looking to make an impact themselves in their new role, making them more likely to be willing to engage with you around buying software. Always filter for people who have recently posted. Using your prospects posts is a really great way to get fodder for your outbound messaging so that you can do more personalization, particularly when you're dealing with above the line prospects. Always save your searches. Saving searches makes them easier to come back to, but also allows you to leverage LinkedIn to be able to get automated messaging around changes that have happened within the accounts that exist in the search. And lastly, leverage LinkedIn insights and leverage LinkedIn jobs to be able to find out if this account is healthy, is it where you should be focusing your time to always ensure that you're getting the most ROI out of the time that you're spending. So those are some of the ways that I use LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Let me know in the comments if you've got other great ways to use it. Hope that you get a chance to implement it and happy hunting.